Hi, Dr. Markov. I wanted to present to you um, my presentation for mycoplasma pneumonia. And I wanted to start off with my 3D visual. This is my poster board. I'm not sure if you can see this or not. I can't see the other side of the camera, but um, it's pretty colorful. Um, okay. Michael. I don't know if you can see, I'm sorry. Mycoplasma pneumonia is a very small bacterium in the class molecules. It causes the disease Mycoplasma pneumonia, a form of atypical bacterial pneumonia. This species lacks a peptidoglycan cell wall like all molecules. Instead, it has a cell membrane that incorporates sterile compounds similar to all eukaryotic cells. It obtains these sterols from the host serum, allowing it to retain a simple structure. Lacking a cell wall, these organisms are resistant to the effects of penicillins and other beta-lactin antibiotics, which act by disrupting the bacterial cell wall. Mycoplasma pneumonia is the smallest free-living organism capable of self-replication, smaller than some viruses. It also has one of the smallest bacterial genomes known with 816 kilobase pairs. Its genome and proteome have been fully characterized. It uses some unique genetic code, making its code more similar to mitochondria than to other bacteria. Thus, mycoplasma pneumonia has a degenerate genome. It lacks the cellular machinery for making new, many essential compounds, including new purines and pyrimidines, it also has no tricarboxylic acid cycle and an incomplete electron transport chain. Um, I also have here um, an illustration. It's black and white, so you can't really tell which from which, but the RNA polymerase up here. Um, Peruvian dehydrogenase, these balls right here. Um, GROEL and the ribosomes. I apologize for making this black and white. And here is a microscopic view of mycoplasma pneumonia. And there is my 3D visual. Okay, um, I also have a PowerPoint presentation um, which I have on the computer so I'm just gonna have to show you the PowerPoint while I'm reading it out loud to you. <clears throat> Start the slideshow. Okay, mycoplasma pneumonia. Mycoplasma pneumonia is a pseudocoidal bacteria measuring about one micrometer in length and 0.1 micrometer in width. And there's the um the microscopic picture illustration of it. Um, it is the smallest free living organism capable of self replication, smaller than some viruses. It has one of the smallest bacterial genomes known with 816 kilobase pairs, which I also um, said in my visual. Um, its genetic code is more similar to mitochondria than to other bacteria. It has a degenerate genome and lacks the cellular machinery for making many essential compounds, including new purines and pyrimidines. Um, this is a circular map of the mycoplasma pneumonia genome. Its general characteristics include pleomorphic with characteristic polar protrusions. It is gram-negative. Um, facultive anaerobe. It lacks a cell wall. Uh, the cells are bound by membrane containing sterols. It's an antibiotic. It's antibiotic resistant and patho pathogenic in humans and other animals. Here's the characteristic polar protrusions, where you see the arrows here towards the end of the structures. Um, well, I could have just pointed. Metabolism. 
Steps to metabolism and includes ATP synthesis via arginine, sugar and central intermediate metabolism, purine and pyramidine metabolism, and fatty acid metabolism. Um, here's an illustration of the ATP synthesis via arginine. I don't know if you can see arginine um, goes down to water with citrulline and NH4 plus plus PI um, or nithine plus carbamoyl P plus ADP which yields a product of ATP plus NHA4 plus plus HCO3 minus. Here's an illustration of the sugar and central intermediate metabolism. <sighs> Fatty acid and phospholipid metabolism um, the pentose phosphate pathway, this is box right here, and glycolysis, definitely can't forget that. <clears throat> and there's the metabolism end products at the end, just like in the back, with acetate, lactate, and ethanol, ATP, NAD+, NAD+, and NAD+. The purine and pyrimidine metabolism is this illustration right here. Um, which includes RNA and DNA. And the fatty acid metabolism, which involves gly glycolysis. This is the metabolic pathways of mycoplasma pneumonia. The, the list, the enzyme list, is right here, but it is too small on my computer for me to read out loud. Classification. The classification of mycoplasma pneumonia is first bacteria, firmicutes, molecutes, mycoplasmatales, mycoplasmatasia, mycoplasma, and finally mycoplasma pneumonia. And in the tree, you'll see it's the bacteria, firmicutes. And again, the tree, firmicutes, down to molecutes, mycoplasma pneumonia falls right there. Which I believe that's a medical symbol. Cultivation. While mycoplasma pneumonia is particularly difficult to cultivate, it can be cultivated on a cell-free medium consisting of 70% Defeo PPLO agar, 20% unheated horse serum, 10% of a 25% boiled yeast extract, with the inclusion of 500 units milliliter penicillin, 5 micrograms milliliter of amphotericin, and 0.5 micrograms milliliter of thalassacetate. A historical perspective to mycoplasma pneumonia. In 1896, cultivation of the causative agent of bovine pleural pneumonia by note card and row, first isolation of mycoplasma. The name mycoplasma was first coined in the 1950s, replacing the former terminology pleural pneumonia like organisms. In the 1960s, Leonard Hayflick first identified mycoplasma pneumonia. In May of 2010, first synthetic genome of a mycoplasmal cell wall was created. Pathogen. Mycoplasma pneumonia causes mycoplasma pneumonia, which is a type of atypical pneumonia. Its symptoms include chills, cough, fever, which may be mild or high, shortness of breath, chest pain that gets worse when you breathe deeply or cough, headache, loss of appetite, low energy and fatigue, muscle aches and joint stiffness, sweating and clammy skin, ear pain, eye pain or soreness, neck lump, rash, and sore throat. Diagnosis um, can be done through a chest x-ray or CT scan. A quick bedside test can be performed by par partially filling tube with blood and placing it in ice. A positive finding in is one in which grains of sand appear on the glass portion of the tube. Other serologic tests include complement fixation, enzyme-linked immunoassay, and indirect hemagglutination. A radio-labeled DNA probe detects mycoplasma pneumonia, ribosomal RNA, and respiratory secretions with 90% sensitivity. 
And here is an illustration of the chest x-ray of a patient with mycoplasma pneumoniae. <clears throat> um, this illustration shows a man. Um, here's the trachea and the bronchus, which leads to the lung. And right here you see a close-up of the air sacs, also known as alveoli. And it is filled with fluid, also known as pneumonia, when there's fluid in the lungs. Its treatment is antimicrobial against mycoplasma pneumonia or bacteriostatic, not bacteriocytal. Tetracycline and erythromycin compounds are very effective, and the second generation tetracyclines, also known as doxycycline, and macrolides are the drugs of choice. Penicillins and cephalosporins are ineffective because the organism lacks a cell wall. Um, the epidemiology of mycoplasma pneumonia is recognized as one of the most common causes of community-acquired pneumonia in otherwise healthy patients younger than 40 years. The incubation period of mycoplasma pneumonia averages three weeks. Epidemics of mycoplasma pneumonia tend to occur every four to eight years in the general population and tend to be more frequent within close populations such as in military or prison populations. And here are my references. Okay. I'm done with my presentation. Thank you so much and have a good rest of the weekend.